I'm Howard Hale with the Harvest USA Report. I'll be back with some information on some surprising corn yields north of the border in just a moment. Do you have questions about how all this website stuff works? Is it doing what you expected? So, do you have anyone you can call and ask these questions? That's what WebCare is all about, especially if you're a do-it-yourselfer or if you're hosting with a big company. Subscribe to WebCare for only $7 per month. Think of it as a website insurance policy for your business. HailMultimedia.com and look for WebCare. Our report today is from David Woodruff at Grassy Lake, Alberta, about 60 miles north of the Montana Canada line. He talks about how they harvest their corn and some of the yields, which can be kind of surprising. David, talk about the corn grown uh, north of the border and how it's handled and what kind of yields you come up with sometimes, which can be kind of surprising. Um, they combine this corn uh, fairly high moisture, I believe, and then they crack it and then they pack it down. Uh, this year they've got a John Deere quad track tractor with a dozer pushing it up in a pit silo and they they must have it 30 feet tall and they also got a uh, road construction compactor, uh, sheep's foot drum type operation. And they got a little girl that drives my school bus running that and her dad's driving the tractor and they push that stuff up. They add some kind of a preservative to it and I think they may even put water on it and then they pack it down with that um, uh, compactor uh, then they cover it up with plastic and tires. The wind blows like a son of a gun up here, so they have to put tires on top of the plastic to hold it from blowing away. David Woodruff at Grassy Lake, Alberta. 